Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, you know, it's the heart of our city, and there's been one organization helping put a new spin on it for quite some time now. It's the Mid-City Redevelopment Alliance. And here to tell us all about the exciting things they have coming up is Evelyn Ware Jackson. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We love this organization, and we love the great work you do. Tell us about some of the things you have coming up for well, Mid-City. You know, Mid-City's been around for a long time, over 20 years now. And uh, we've been selected as one of the uh, areas to do some uh, creative placemaking through uh, the Louisiana Cultural Development, Cultural, let me see, what's the name of Louisiana <laughs> Office of Cultural Development's Creative Communities Initiative. Mouthful. That is a mouthful. <laughs> but we will be doing some creative placemaking and um, we'll be doing some pole painting later and um, just ways to brand Mid-City as the cultural district that it is. We'll do, um, a government street entrance so that when you when you're coming into mid city you'll definitely know you're in mid city and you're in the middle of the cultural district so. it's such a you know it's an area that already has so much character now and and hosts so many great events i know you know there is a whole project dedicated to getting that going tell me about that mm -hmm. well you know you think about mid city the first thing you think about is um uh the white white light nights and everything that we do in the in the fall and in the spring and uh, there's something very special going on all through january in in the mid-city area over in melrose east right there in your backyard we're right here at cox that's right right in your backyard uh, melrose east has the names of artists all over the streets and uh, the red stick project has partnered with uh breck the uh, the YMCA downtown abounding love ministries and the neighborhood association uh, Mecca and we will be teaching kids how to do murals and we will um, emulate some of the artists work like uh, at the building at the Breck Sia Park building we will be placing uh, something that may look like a Rembrandt because Rembrandt runs right behind the Breck Park sure so does. on that building we will be teaching kids how to produce murals and the first one will be on uh, on that building and later in the spring we'll do a starry night over the top of the building so it's going to be phenomenal and uh, we'll do this all over the city with the help of other neighborhood associations so we'll partner with them find out what their neighborhood image is and then pull it out onto the street and then to zero it into baton rouge that's going to be a red stick in every mural that's fantastic <laughs> I know that arts has always been a big part of Mid-City, and mm -hmm. it's also a really important part to have in our children's education, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Our children need ways to um, to perform. They, you know, I think sometimes kids are over excited, and you know, they, sometimes they cause trouble in classrooms because they <laughs> need a way. To express themselves and the arts does that and one of the things that the red stick project is doing with um, a particular school that no longer has an arts program is um, we'll, we'll have those kids from um, a Broadmoor middle working at Sci Park to help produce those murals and uh, that way they'll have a way to express themselves and really give ownership to their neighborhood and take ownership of their neighborhood it's really exciting, you know, for me to see, obviously, I think a lot of people, when they're thinking about Mid-City, you know, there's so many things that are sort of centered around the Government Street area, but it's mm -hmm. really nice to see it kind of branch out Branching a bit from off. there and, yes. you know, starting to show up in Melrose and, mm -hmm. and areas like that. I mean, talk to me a little bit about how you expect that growth will be going in the future. Well, you know, the city itself through, um, through Future BR has, is really looking at Mid-City with a much larger footprint now. Uh, we used to think of Mid-City as just the heart of town. Well, you know, we're looking at all the way from airline to the, the interstate back, um, back uh, towards downtown right. and all the way to um, the old woman's hospital okay. as another boundary and Choctaw. So Mid-City is a very large area. So if folks want to check out uh, all the great plans that Mid-City Redevelopment has or just find out more about some mm -hmm. of the things we've been talking about today, where can they go for more information on that? Well, they can call us at 346-1000 and Sam Sanders is our executive director. He has all that information for you. And if anybody wants to know about the Red Stick Project Fund through the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, you can call 571-6134. Evelyn, thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about Thank it. Thank you Look for Look forward having to it. Me.